All right, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we have joining us here uh, from Stephen F. Austin, head coach Mark Kellogg, and then uh, players Stevie Parker and uh, Taylor Ross. Uh, just a couple of notes about uh, uh, Stephen F. Austin. Uh, they finished the tournament uh, with a record of 25 and 7, and uh, the Lady Jacks playing in an astonishing 21st Southland Conference Championship game uh, this afternoon. Uh, we'll open it up with a statement uh, from the coach, and then uh, we'll allow for questions after that. But when you ask questions, just make sure that you uh, give your name and the organization that you represent and speak up. Our wireless mic has got a dead battery, so just make sure you speak up this afternoon. Go ahead, Coach. All right. Um, well, first off, credit to Central Arkansas. Um, you know, you tip your hat, it's a really, really good defensive team. We knew that coming in. Uh, we just couldn't get any offensive rhythm whatsoever, and that's a, you know, a lot of credit to them um, and what they do defensively. Um, I thought the first few minutes, actually, we were playing at pace and tempo and, and liked what we were doing, and the game slowed down um, dramatically from there and um, just could never find a rhythm. I um, thought the second half we lost some energy, maybe some tired legs, maybe that third game in three days, I'm not sure, but we just could never muster up enough energy. But it's hard when you're not scoring. I mean, that's when a lot of times what you feed off of is a basket here and a basket there, and we just couldn't string anything together. Uh, but I couldn't be more proud of our kids. Um, been a, not necessarily a roller coaster, but had the big long stretch in there where we had won some games and then, you know, battled through some tough losses, close games. Uh, we were looking forward to this matchup again with Central Arkansas, expected maybe a little bit closer game. Uh, but to win 25, um, you know, a special. I don't remember the exact stat, but I think it's been since 2001 or something since SFA Lady Jacks have won 23 or more games. So we've done something special, and we know there's some been some really good teams since 2001 that have here that have been here. So um, I hope our kids understand that they may not get it right now uh, because of the emotion, but they'll look back at it fondly at some point and realize they accomplished quite a bit. Um, fell short of some of the goals, that's for sure. Uh, we'd like to think we're still playing in the postseason, um, just not the ultimate goal of the NCAA tournament. Uh, but that's what we want to be about is postseason basketball. That's the expectation here, and, and that's what we put on our kids. So hopefully we'll learn from the experience, and uh, we'll be, hopefully be back next year. All right, let's open it up for questions. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. Coach, uh, what was so different about their defense compared to the uh, previous games you played them this season? Well, I don't know. That, I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything different. I mean, they're they're just they're pretty locked in all the time. Um, you know, we needed to make some perimeter shots tonight. Um, you know, they were going to collapse. That you know, maybe dare us to shoot it even a little bit. We couldn't get Ross enough space in there. Um, you know, we took some ill-advised shots, which they force you to do. You know, if you watch Corpus yesterday, they were doing the same thing. They did it to us as well. And you just got to be patient. And you got to really, really run your offense. And we just weren't efficient enough. But um, I don't know that they changed anything. They may have. Other than that, I know they took away the pain as much as possible. And um, we really felt like we just needed to get some threes to go to open it up, and we never did. Question uh, for both uh, Taylor and Stevie. Uh, you guys got four goals and threw up your first four possessions. And like the coach mentioned, you guys were playing you know, a tempo that you like. What really, what changed that really allowed them to take that tempo away from you guys? Um, we just slowed down. We weren't playing our game offensively. Uh, we weren't moving the ball as well as we normally do. We couldn't get in the paint, like coach said, and we weren't hitting shots outside. I don't ever have regrets, so no. Um, I mean, it was fun, fun four years. Uh, sucks that I couldn't get this, you know, past this building, but it happened, so it was fun. Kevin Gore with the Daily Central. Stevie, maybe just talk about the grind inside, how tough it was against these guys. Um, it definitely was a battle. With Jordan in there, that's a big body, and she does rebound hard. Her and number 23, so we had to make sure that we played physical right back. <coughs> Coach Isaac you draw the song, I know there's potentially postseason games ahead, but just looking a little bit ahead to next season, uh, what, what does this team look like? Oh, I don't know. A little premature probably for me to look too far. Um, I mean, I just hope we've grown up. I hope we learn from some of the experiences. I mean, we, we're close. We've tasted it a little bit. 
Um, you know, you hope that motivates them. I think more than anything else is, you know, you see Central Arkansas and what they're doing now. You get to the conference tournament final, and sometimes you have to take those steps, and that's okay. Um, you know, if you're doing and progressing the right way, then you build off of last year. You build off again this year. You have really good seniors that show them the right way, and you hope now Stevie would be the senior next year and Taylor Jackson that now it's their time, and, and they've learned, and then you just keep passing it down. But, um, you know, from a program, it's, it takes a little time to develop. I'm proud of what they've accomplished, and I just hope they're hungry. I hope they really, really want to work at it. Um, you know, see if we can take it a step further. Yesterday, you had the back-to-back baskets toward the end of the first half that really swung the momentum in the contest. Was there a point in this game today where you saw that momentum swing against you? Well, I mean, a little bit there late in the second quarter again. I thought we had really battled. We didn't play great in the first half. Um, but that seven point lead probably felt like even maybe a little more um, because I thought, you know, we didn't necessarily control and we long, went a long time. It felt like without scoring much. Um, but still, it was a one or two possession game the whole time. And um, it had been that way the first two times we played them as well. Uh, but we just, we, in the third, we just couldn't, we had no energy. We couldn't get going. We couldn't get a bucket to, to get excited. Uh, and I thought that was the difference more in the third quarter than the first or second. Are there more questions for coach or the players? All right, if there are no more questions, guys, it's a miss. Thank you. Thank you.